hi there welcome back to the jira tutorial again and i'll cover the second type of the search in jira which is a advanced search and you can say it's a jql jira query language uh, so let's see what is the agenda of the video today in this video we will learn what is jql in jira and how to search issues using jql when i'll show you the interface of the advanced search or you can say jql you will love it because the jira gives a beautiful interface very easy to use and you will find out the syntax help and the suggestions to write your queries definitely you will love it to know more about the jql in jira we will see the next slide so what is jql in jira jql stands for jira query language and it is the most flexible and a good way to search the issues in Jira. Jira is for everyone, means for a developer, tester, managers, and even the non-technical person can search the issues in Jira with the help of the JQL. It's very similar to the SQL. SQL means a structured query language. So if you are a technical person who works in SQL, yeah, who knows the database before, then definitely it will be a very simple for you. But if you are not a technical person, then don't worry. Still, you can search the issues and take the benefits from the jql so before going forward if you haven't written any query before then you need to know what is query first let me tell you what is query what is the meaning of the term query here so query is a series of a simple questions strung together to form more complex questions so this is the query basically and in query we have the three important basic parts which is fields operators and values now what are the fields so fields are the different types of information in the system if i will take example of a jira then jira fields are priority fixed version issue types created date summary updated date and many more and the second one is the operators so operators basically used to relate the field to the value and like equals to not equals to something like that and the third one is keywords keywords are specific words in the language that have special meaning like and or etc this is a definition or you can say theory part of the jql now we will move forward and see how to search the issues using jql and as usual to do this we need to go to our jira cloud instance this is my jira cloud instance and again today i'll use the project a for this video for the advanced search i need to go to the filters then i'll click on the search issues and it will redirect me to the basic search page and I can switch to the basic because right now uh, this is not the basic way. Yes, this is the basic version of the search and when you will click on the search issues, it will automatically open the basic search page. If you haven't seen my basic search video, then feel free to go back to this series and watch just a previous video and you will find the link of the basic search video in the description below just click and watch before watch this video yeah so in the basic search oh, we use the parameters to search our issues like i can choose a project a and i want to see uh, the issues which is assigned to monica something like that and this is my basic search i can use these parameters i can add more parameters i can search with the help of the string or maybe any other contained text now i want to switch this basic search to the jql how can i do this i can switch just with the help of this link switch to jql so this is the jql now as i told you query contain the three important parts so where are these parts in this query so this is a query here is the field project is a field in jira equal is a operator and pa is a value it's a project key so this is a query in jira and this is the keyword which is and and it is combining the two queries first query is this and the second one query is this now i want to watch all the issues under the project a 
so i will write something like that let's suppose uh, project and here is the suggestion list and this is the syntax help link if you want some help about the syntax you want to read about the syntax and you want to go deeper then you can click and it will open the official atlassian website and here is the document you can read freely now this is the project and sorry yeah and equal to it will give me options of the projects right now i have the four projects under my the cloud instance so this is a project a i'm going to use it yes now you can see i have the green take and if i will write something uh, wrong and it will like this then it will show us the error in our query and if this is green it means our query is perfect there is no bug in our query now project equal to project a and i want to see assignee equal to yeah you can see the operator suggestions here equal to monica yeah and i will press the search here it will give me the complete issue list of the project a which is assigned to monica like this you can write the jql and you can find the results whatever you want if you are a person from a management team then definitely you will need this jql or advanced search where you can write down some searches save as as a filter and then use those filters into the dashboard where you can track your team progress where you can track your project progress and many more so definitely it will help you a lot this is the advanced search or you can say a jql i have a few examples which i will take i'll write down the query so that you can understand far better i had two queries here first one is find out the all unassigned issues of the project a and the second one is find out the all issues fixed in the last release we will make the queries for both statement and see how can we get these results we'll go with the first one find out the all unassigned issues of the project a here we have a project a and assignee and it's give the operators option is empty means i want those issues from a project a whose assignee field value is empty it means i will get all the unassigned issues here i'll click on the search button and there are the seven issues which are unassigned under the project a you can write this query like this now we will go to the second statement this is our second statement find out all the issues fixed in the last release means as a manager i want to see all the issues which are fixed in the last release how i will write this jquery i'll come in the advanced sections i'll go to into the project a and i want to see the status in done and result you can see it's give a perfect suggestions and fix version equal to v1 in my instance i have a version v1 when i will press enter or click on a search button then i will grab the result of this query under the project a the status done and results there are the five issues four stories and the one subtask which were fixed in the last version this is the perfect way to search your queries to search your issues and i will suggest just go and play with it it will give you a very flexible way to search your issues it's fantastic just go and try it once if you have any query related to the jql then please feel free to ask into the comment box and if you want to go into the deep dive what is jql to know more about the more functions of the jql syntax operators and many more then feel free to go to the official documents of the atlassians you will find the link in the description below and you can read about yourself after that if you have any questions or if you will have any doubt in your mind then comment below in the video definitely i'll reply 
I hope you understood the concept of the advanced search JQL in Jira. Please like this video, share this video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell button so that you can get the notifications of my videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.